what's going on guys let's do this problem right here here this question is asking a brass rod 100 millimeter long and 5 millimeter in diameter extends horizontally from a casting at 200 degrees Celsius the rod is in an air environment with T infinity is equal to 20 degrees Celsius and H is equal to 30 watts per meter square Kelvin what is the temperature of the rod 25 50 and 100 millimeter from the casting now to find this one out we have to use this equation that is t minus t infinity over tb minus t infinity is equal to one of this equation right so for a short film we use this equation that is cos, cos hyperbolic m l minus x and this one and here if you notice in the question they have mentioned they haven't mentioned that whether it's insulated at the end or not right so we are not sure so whenever we don't have enough information about insulation we have to use the second one so this one this is the one we are going to use now let's list all the given information first first we have the length of this rod that is 100 millimeter that is equal to C to 0 0.1 meter right and uh, since this is a brass rod the thermal conductivity of a brass rod is going to be equal to 133 watts per meter degree celsius and here we have they have provide, provided the diameter that is 5 millimeter diameter is 5 millimeter in meter that's going to be 0 0.005 meter right and also we have the base temperature that is 200 degrees Celsius and also we have the T, T infinity that's ambient temperature 20 degrees Celsius and we have heat transfer coefficient 30 watts per meter square Kelvin and uh, we have this length now this length are going to be x values these x values right so whatever the x value we are subtracting that is this value these three values so one of them is going to make this one zero because 100 millimeter we are having the same length so when we apply this last one we are going to have zero everywhere l minus x that's going to be zero so that's good for cos hyperbolic that's going to be one for sine hyperbolic it's going to make this one zero so that is what we need to know and what else we need in order to solve this problem we have to find this m value to find m value we use this equation that is m is equal to square root of hp over k a c and whenever we have a cylindrical shape this is a rod so this is going to be a cylindrical shape we take the perimeter as a circle and also the cross sectional area is going to be circle and let's put the equation here we are going to have h and perimeter of the circle is 2 phi r or you can say phi d phi d is better because we are dealing we have diameter already so we can directly plug it right phi d and then we have thermal conductivity times cross sectional area of a circle is going to be phi d square of by 4 and if you notice here we have phi phi cancels and t square and this t cancels and this 4 flips around finally we will end up with this one square root of 4h over kd so this is going to be the final equation we are going to use now let's plug these values 4 times heat transfer coefficient that's 30 and thermal conductivity of, uh, of the brass is 133 and we have the diameter that is 0 0.05 0 0.005 and if you calculate this one you should get around 13.43 meter minus 1 now this is our m value let's see what else we need we need hl over m hl over mk and that is it after you find this value you just you just have to plug this in this equation to solve for this one this is what this is what we are interested in we have the T infinity that's the ambient temperature and we have base temperature we are trying to find this temperature this is our question all we have to do is simply equate this one to this one now HL over MK this is just 
this value hl over mk is going to be heat transfer coefficient that is 30 30 divided by whatever the m value we calculated that is 13.43 and then we have to apply the heat trans i mean thermal conductivity of the brass that is 133 and if you calculate this one you should get 0 0.0168 and that's all we all we need to do and after this we just equate this equation to this one and if you solve for each situation you will get at 25 you will get 156 degrees celsius 150 156.5 actually 156.5 degrees celsius at 25 millimeter and at 50 millimeter you will get 128.9 degrees celsius and at 100 degrees celsius you will get i mean 100 millimeter because this is length we are talking about right so this is 100 millimeter you will get 107.0 degrees celsius and that's how we do this kind of problems i hope this helps thanks for watching